here enjoying the beach and the awesome sound energy coming from my ukulele. And yes, it has everything to do with the vibrations of each of those strings. Are you ready to learn about sound energy? I sure am. I think we're gonna hear a lot of things today. Here we go. Sound energy. I hope we don't get too loud talking about this form of energy. Sound energy. Here we go. Sound is produced by vibrating objects. The back and forth movement of an object is called a vibration. A sound wave consists of mechanical vibrations in the air and through other substances. Sound is a longitudinal wave. Woohoo! Let's look at sound waves. The crest are areas of a sound wave where particles are very close together. The frequency is the number of crests that pass by a certain point each second. So what do these look like? Sound waves look like this, but I'm going to show you the waves with their different frequencies. The top one is a low frequency, the middle one is a medium frequency, and the bottom one is a high frequency. Can you tell the difference? Why are you so loud? <laughs> when sound waves vibrate more, it will create a louder sound. These sound waves have more energy, sound energy. A decibel is used to measure the intensity of the sound. Your vocal cords vibrate when you are speaking. The vibrations are caused by air rushing past them. The particles in the air vibrate around your vibrating vocal cords. These vibrations travel outward through the air as sound waves. That's how we talk. Whoa, hertz is used to measure sound frequency. Humans can hear sound frequencies in the range of 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Damage to your hearing and age reduces those upper limits. Some animals hear higher frequencies like bats and dolphins. They can hear up to 100,000 hertz. Dogs, depending on the breed, can hear anywhere between 40,000 to 60,000 hertz. That's crazy. What do you hear? Look, he left your album cover symbol there. <laughs> Owen, what do you hear? A hand. What do you hear? What, are, what is it? Tweeting. Tweet, tweet. Of the bats. Sound frequencies. Ultrasound. Ultrasound is a very high frequency sound. It is too high for a human to hear. Ultrasound echoes can be used to see inside objects and be used to measure distances. Infrasound is a low frequency sound. Humans cannot hear it, but we may feel slow vibrations. Earthquake waves are a form of this low frequency sound. Elephants and some other larger animals can hear this type of sound frequency. That's pretty cool. And that picture right there, the ultrasound picture, is of my great nephew. Isn't he cute? Ultrasound is a very, very high frequency sound that only bats can hear and dolphins. Infrasound is a very low frequency sound that only large mammals can hear, like elephants. And the audible frequencies are what we can hear as humans. How do sound waves react in different materials? Sound travels quickest through solids. A train can often be heard coming through the rails before you can hear it through the air. Sound travels fast through liquids as well. Wells communicate over great distances under the water. <laughs> That's cool. Sound moves the slowest through gases. But that is the way that we hear one another.
Sound does not travel through a vacuum. If there is not a substance, particles, for the sound waves to travel through, sound cannot travel. Sound is reflected. Did you know that? <laughs> reflected sound is like an echo. Sonar helps to detect objects underwater by measuring the water's depths by emitting sound waves. That's cool. Sound is also refracted, meaning it bends. Refraction is when sound waves bend. The cooler air in the picture to the right shows the refraction of the sound waves downwards so the puppy can actually hear his owner calling him in the cooler air. Oh my goodness, we learned so much about sound energy. From bats, to elephants, to ultrasound pictures, to reflection and refraction of sound energy. This has been an awesome day, but the beach is calling my name. Until next time.